Good morning everyone, I fancied vlogging today and I'm not sure why but I thought I would just bring the camera along with me. I'm not really doing anything that interesting but I haven't vlogged in a little while, I know you guys like them so I'm going to be vlogging today and I've just woken up, I haven't done my makeup yet, I've just straightened my hair. Um, I just started the morning laughing a lot because Rich told me that he had a two part dream. So the other night he dreamt that he was working at Krispy Kreme and then last night the dream continued and he said I still hadn't Rich, what did you say? You still hadn't got your your t-shirt? Yeah. He still hadn't got his t-shirt. Huh? It was my second shift. It was his second shift at Krispy Kreme. He said, I still hadn't got my t-shirt. The manager was still an asshole. It just made me laugh so much that he's like continued on the stream about working at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I'm gonna use the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint today. I've been using this for a while just for like this month really, and I really quite like it, but today I know I'm gonna be outdoors, so I wanna wear it, properly look at it in the mirror when I'm out in the sunshine. I use two shades. Finland would work for me, that's the lightest shade. I can't believe I'm the lightest shade. And then this one is Alaska, which is shade two. And sometimes I like to mix them, but this one is probably my best bet. And I like to use my wet sponge, Real Techniques sponge with it as well, which I think works really nicely. It's not like matte, matte. I'll show you. It kind of looks quite luminous on the skin, actually, for a matte foundation. The first thing I'm doing this morning is I'm going to Google for a couple of meetings. And I'm so excited because it's very hard to explain, but because I kind of work for myself, my only boss, if I were to have a boss, would be Google, and Google owns YouTube, by the way, in case you don't know, because if YouTube was suddenly to change something dramatically, that would really affect my job, because what I do is upload videos on YouTube, and it's such a weird feeling not having any contact with YouTube, not knowing any big changes they're going to make, so having any kind of contact there is so important for me, and I'm going to go meet with the engineering team, I can ask them all these, like, geeky, techie questions that I have, and then I'm meeting with a guy who says he's, like, my, uh, channel manager but I don't really know what that means because I've never met him before but I think he's probably going to advise me on like times I should upload my videos and I don't know I can just take whatever advice I want and not take it I know that they're going to talk a lot about thumbnails and titles of videos but I personally don't really like to do clickbait I like to encourage people to watch my videos but I don't want to kind of lie in the title to make people watch it I'm quite against that so I'm going to go and have a chat see what advice they can give me see what I can learn always up for trying new things and improving my channel and just meeting new people really. Google's got a really cool office so it'd be fun to go in there anyway. So I'm just packing up my bag, I've got quite a lot of stuff to take with. I'm going to take my laptop with and then my notebook which I'm still loving by the way, my bullet journal and this is just like a notebook to write scruffy notes in that don't look nice. I don't think they're all going to fit in this Strathbury bag so I'm going to take my Chloe bag which I haven't worn in a little while, I absolutely love it. I'm always worried about filling it too much though, I don't want to like break the handles, but I think it'll be alright. I always stuff my bags just to keep the shape. Apparently it's going to be sunny today, so I'm going to make use of all my glasses. Oops, I think I'm going to take these Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Actually this shape suits me so much better than the Wayfarers, these are the Erica's, and they really suit my face, but I'm so annoyed because I only have them in brown, and sometimes I just want like a black colour. They do like black ones with a blue... Um, glass and I really like those but I can't buy any more sunglasses I just have too many but I really want these in black I think I'm gonna wear these today but I'm just annoyed that they're brown I've changed my mind this has turned into some kind of like sunglasses collection video I'm gonna wear these these are my Dior ones okay little outfit of the day wait let me start that again why don't we start with okay it's such a bad habit here's an outfit of the day this is my bomber from Topshop it's a little bit big on the arms, I'm always in between a 10 and a 12 and everything and it's very frustrating but I feel like with a bomber it's better to go slightly bigger, especially because it's quite short. I love it, I just can't believe I'm wearing bombers again. Anyway, I feel like I'm definitely ruining an upcoming haul video here but whatever. T-shirts from Urban Outfitters, they've got loads of Adidas stuff in at the moment and I really like it. Very comfortable, I do love a good t-shirt. My black Jamie jeans, my um, Stan Smith trainers I've had for a while now. What else? My Chloe bag. Does that go? Not really, don't really care. I think I'm gonna get the tube to Covent Garden because I'm gonna be a bit early and I wanna have a little walk through Covent Garden. I haven't been there in so long. I'm in Covent Garden. It's 9.30 and everything's closed, but I guess that's probably good for my purse, but I wanted to have a bit of a browse, so I'm just gonna walk over to Google now. And everyone's looking at me again. I haven't vlogged in public for a while. If you ever see this huge giant orange building in Covent Garden, that is the Google offices and the YouTube office. 
and everything Google related, so I'm gonna head in there. just left the Google offices, I wasn't allowed to film in there because you're not allowed to film, but it was really interesting. I had a meeting with the engineering team talking about like new changes and developments they've got coming up on the platform and then I met with someone who can like help me with my channel and developing my channel and how I do things and it was so interesting. I love learning about that kind of thing. I feel like I would really enjoy working at Google but where am I going? I was meant to be meeting my friend Jen for lunch but she got a flat tyre so she's had to cancel which is a shame so I'm going to go meet Lucy instead and I think she's getting her eyebrows done at Liberty, so we're gonna go eat somewhere around there. Feeling really inspired and happy and excited again. I was feeling really down yesterday, so this is a good morning. I went in Superdrug to look for something and I found a double pack of the Real Technique sponges. Mine is like pretty much ruined since I tried to wash it, so that was very exciting. This is where I'm going for lunch, Coptois, which is like a Lebanese canteen diner and I really like it. So once I get around these bikes, I'm gonna go in there. I'm just waiting for Lucy. I am so hungry, but I really like this place. There's so many places to pick from in this area. But I'll show you what I always go for when I come here. Even for lunch. I always get a tagine because I love tagines and the aubergine tagine is so delicious and because it hasn't got any meat or anything in it, it's not too filling. It's perfect for lunch and it's so yummy. They've got loads of cool like wraps and stuff here. Yummy lunch! I'm really full now and I'm going to quickly pop into We Built This City because I'm on Carnaby Street and I love it. Favourite shop for prints. So I'm going to go have a look, see what they've got at the moment in here. I'm just in the Liberty Beauty Hall and I love the little section at the back by the Blink Brow Bar. Look how cool it is with these products here. So pretty. They have Pixie Glow Tonic. Look how many they have in this pot. That is amazing. Bloody love it in Liberty. I know I say it all the time. They are so nice in there. Um, I think I'm going to head to the Gleam office now because I need to do a bit of work and it's like got too late to go home and film so I might as well just I've got my laptop with me and then check my emails and then head home later. I'm just leaving the Gleam office. I ended up staying there pretty much all afternoon and working. It's quite late now, it's like six o'clock. I'm going to head to my parents. Um, me and Rich need to discuss wedding food tonight, which is a bit stressful but also exciting. Um, so I will speak to you guys. Later. I haven't finished vlogging yet today. I'm now home. As I said, I went to my parents. We did some wedding duties and we had both my sisters there and it was actually really good and productive and made me feel less stressed. One thing ticked off our list, which is there behind me. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I was going to show you something, I can't really remember, but I'm the luckily, luckiest, what? I am the luckiest girl in the world. I have so many flowers in my flat right now, let me show you. The lovely girls from Space NK sent me this terranium, pretty sure it's called a terranium, I am obsessed with it. I literally have been wanting to make one of these for so long and I was a bit overwhelmed and not sure how. Still want to learn, but for now I've got this one and I absolutely love it, I've put that there. These flowers were sent to me from the lovely ladies at Clarins. They're so, so, so pretty. And then these over here were sent to me from a pr production company that I'm working with on a shoot. I did a shoot with them the other day and they're absolutely gorgeous. This doesn't even look real. Rich, I was going to save this till Sunday, but then I felt really bad for lying. What? What is it? Selfridges sent me something to give Rich as a Valentine's present and I was like, I can't pretend that I bought this. I just didn't. Selfridges bought it for you via me. Amazing. I love So Selfridges. can I give it to you now? Yeah. Because I won't be vlogging on Sunday. On Sunday, me, Rich, <coughs> Lu my friend Lucy and her boyfriend James are all going boxing. So romantic, Valentine's Day. It's for you. Not that. Open it, open it. <gasps> Whoa. But, but open, open it. So what is it, Carvin? I actually thought it was for me and then I realised it smelled like a man. But look what it says on it! <laughs> Love Lily. Look, they've like drawn on it a man painting a heart. So it's like a special personalised bottle. Love Lily! 
<laughs> How cool is that? Thanks, Selfridges. I made it specially for you. I thought of the idea and everything. <laughs> oh, very good. It does smell good. That's like a really good looking man. So that's your Valentine's present. Me and Rich don't do Valentine's, really. We buy each other cards. So um, that's my Valentine's thing this year. So romantic of me. Can't really remember what else I was going to say. Um, I might vlog a bit tomorrow, actually. Maybe just a bit throughout the day. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to sign off because I want to watch Hollyoaks and I've got to do some emails as well. So see you guys tomorrow. For those of you that have seen my organisational video, you know that I talk a lot about my floor drobe. But the second thing that I also do when I'm trying to convince Rich that I don't have a floor drobe is I create a bed drobe, which is kind of like a floor drobe on a bed. That's the second step before it makes its way into the drawers. I think today I'm going to wear this Urban Decay um, Gwen Stefani lipstick, which is in Ex-Girlfriend. I don't know if I got like a sample packaging or if this is the final packaging, but if it is, I think it's a little bit flimsy. I don't love it if I'm honest. It's a bit plasticky and like doesn't really turn up properly. Like, look, I had to turn it three times before... Oh, no, it's actually broken. I feel like it's really cheap packaging. Maybe I got like a press sample. Oh no, it's broken. Well, this is a nice angle. I got it to work. I had to use my other hand. But yeah, cheapy packaging. Let me show you what it looks like on ex-girlfriend this one is, which is like a nice nude. They're nice and creamy. I think that's quite pretty. I've been wearing my Lily and Lionel scarf for so long that I forgot about this blue Topshop one that I absolutely love and it's definitely still cold enough in the UK to wear a scarf. It's quite nice and like sunny and fresh at the moment. I feel like um, normally it snows this time of year. Well, I got one of those alerts on Facebook saying this day four years ago it was snowing. But it's not snowing, it's not raining, it's nice and bright and fresh but just freezing cold so definitely scarf weather. I'm wearing it with my whistles coat and ripped Topshop jeans and trainers and me and Rich are now going out to do yet another wedding meeting. We're very wedding fired at the moment because Rich is kind of changing jobs so he won't have much spare time soon. So we're gonna go do that and then we are gonna go pick up our new glasses. I will explain what I'm talking about then. Rich has a snack for me because I haven't had breakfast. My kids' snacks. I so did not realize these were for kids. We're gonna go into caffeine, really good place for coffee. Okay, wedding, coffee, meeting, whatever it was, done. Me and Rich are now gonna to head to Spitalfields because we both need to pick up our new glasses. We, last week, or a couple of weeks ago, we went to have our eyes tested at a shop called Bailey Nelson. Um, I'll explain more when I get there, but the glasses are ready for us to pick up, so we're gonna go head there now. Normally in the past, I've got my glasses on Specsavers or Vision Express because that's where I get my eye test done. And I've got Tom Ford glasses. I find in those sort of places you end up buying designer glasses, not because you really want them, but just because they're the only ones that suit you. Because they have all these different designer glasses and you know, you end up spending like, I think my glasses were like £150 last time. The reason I really like Bailey Nelson is because all of their glasses, pretty much all of their glasses are £98 for the glasses and for the eye test, for the frames as well. Um, I think the eye test is included, it might just be the glasses and the frames, but still, really affordable for glasses. And they're all really cool, like trendy styles as well. They're not like random brands, random styles. They're like trendy shapes and they're really nice. I'll show you the ones that I got. They're like quite round and they're like ombre. They go lighter at the bottoms and I'm really excited to have them with the lenses in. So Rich got some as well. And it's just a really cool store. The girl who did our eye test, Bethany, we went to the Spitalfields branch. She was just really young and cool and the whole experience was really nice. So I would definitely recommend them. Excited to get your new glasses. Yes. Here's the store. This is, so this is the Spitalfields one. There's a really cool one in Covent Garden there as well. Look how cool it is. Look. Always £98. Ugh. This is the glasses shape that I went for. They're the new style. And they get slightly lighter on the bottom. I really like them. My hair's so frizzy. Rich, can we see yours? Cool. So when I'm really happy with them, looking forward to wearing this. I'm going to quickly pop into COS because it's so quiet around here. It's a good time to have a look and then I need to go home and film a video. There's a place here called Maki. It says design your own sushi. So we're going to go see what that's all about. Maybe get something to take home for lunch. We didn't go for it in the end. Didn't look fresh and very fussy with my sushi. Um, what should we do? What do you fancy? I'm home. I'm wearing my glasses. I'm lying on the bed. 
life is good but I actually have to do some work now so I'm gonna get off in a minute by the way if you guys haven't seen my last video that went up on Sunday I'm gonna link it here in this little space here it was a Q&A video talks a little bit about wedding planning and all different kinds of things questions that you guys asked me on Twitter so if you haven't seen that video go ahead and click here to watch it now and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click over here to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos um, it really helps me when you subscribe and also means you guys don't miss any videos so that's all good I think I'm gonna end vlogging here because I'm gonna do some work the rest of the day and then we are babysitting tonight for my sister um, but let me know what you think of my new specs I really like them they're just so lightweight and comfortable I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know you wanted more vlogs I heard you I will be doing vlogs whenever I can thank you for watching see you guys in my next video bye look how close I can get to my eye my lashes look good at that angle. Okay. <laughs>